Hello, this video explains how to configure Nagios Core to use the PNP4 Nagios program to generate performance graphs. You will find the tutorial links in the description of this video. Nagios Core does not have its own performance data engine built in to process this performance data, instead it provides functionality to pass this performance data to an external program that can store that data for later analysis. PNP4 Nagios is one such external program. Because this guide is based on Nagios Core already being installed, Prerequisites like Apache and PHP will already be installed on the Nagios Core server, they will only be reinstalled if your OS requires that to enable a module. Perform these steps to install the prerequisite packages. Once PNP4 Nagios is running as the NPCD service, the next step is to configure Nagios Core to send the performance data to PNP4 Nagios. To make the above required changes, you can do the following commands that will make those changes for you. The first step in verifying that PNP4 Nagios is working is to look at the RRD files that should now exist. There is also a web interface for PNP4 Nagios. Open your web browser to the following URL. Replace Nagios underscore server with the DNS record or IP address of your Nagios core server. This will display a page of test results, they should all be passed, most importantly is the statement at the bottom of the page. To remove the install.php file execute the following command. You will probably get the following error and here's how to fix it.
if you are seeing the graphs then everything appears to be functioning correctly. Your next step is to configure Nagios Core Web Interface Integration. Finally open the Nagios Core web interface and navigate to the services page, you should now see a graph icon for all the hosts and services. This completes the steps required for integrating PNP for Nagios with Nagios Core. Clicking on an icon will open the host or service graph for that object in the PNP for Nagios web interface. Thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe. You will find the tutorial links in the description of this video.